quite a straightforward example here by Gora Saul. We have the paper name, Influence of Osmotic and Caloric Loads Upon Lateral Hypothalamic Self-Stimulation. We have the quotation marks, so that means it's an article. It's inside the journal, Journal of Comparative and Psychological Psychology. We have the volume number and the number we use in commas here. We have the year, 1968, and we have the page numbers, PP, uh, 325 to 332. So it's actually looking pretty good, isn't it? We can see the problem, though, is in the capitalization of the article name and also the capitalization of the journal name. This is following the APA style, but we want the MLA style, which is quite different, which is going to use the source capitalization, such as this here. So we can see that's a key point. Now, I just want to remind you, capitalization is quite difficult. You cannot really guess at it. I did go over some rule of thumb that we can use the first, the first word, the last word, words that are after the colon, and then nouns and pronouns. But you know, that's very hit and miss even. You really need to go back and look at the source and see how did they capitalize it. That's the best way. So once again, we end up with this situation of we need to have the source material and not just guess. Guessing is the worst thing we can possibly do. Here we have another example. Raba, Joseph, and Grant. Geoffrey, Black is Beautiful, a re-examination of racial preferences and identification inside the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. And we have a volume number, a issue number, a year, and the page numbers. Well, here we've got some problems we can see very clearly, isn't it? The very first problem, of course, is our name for the second author. We have the name with a comma in between, which means the surname and the given name, the first name and the last name, are reversed. But in MLA, we do not do that. For the first author, you reverse. But for the second author, you do not reverse. Very important. And we also can see that we are missing our P, P period there for the pages, from what page to what page. And in MLA, you do need to have that. So that's pretty straightforward. Just don't confuse this with other style approaches, such as APA. Peterson, Stephen, E, et al. So what does that all mean? We must have three or more authors. So we're going to head, go ahead and use the et al. What is the name of the paper? Positron Emission tomo tomo Tomographic. Ooh. Studies of the Cortical Anatomy of Single Word Processing. It's in the journal Nature. This is the volume number. And here we have the volume number 331.60. I think .60 would be the issue number. And we have the date and the pages. Now, the problem here is inside the MLA, we're very clear. Volume number is one number. Issue number is another number, so that 60 needs to be separated out and put into the NO number.